Hey everybody, welcome back to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and here on my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna do a little quick demonstration. A lot of you that watched my Easy Drummer uh, multi-track out video several months ago wrote some comments and wanted to know how can we take the MIDI that's in Studio One and how can we make it so we have um, the kick, the snare, the toms, the overheads, everything on its own separate track not just in the mixer, but also in the edit window as well. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. It's a pretty simple process, so you can uh, help improve your workflow if this is something you'd like to do. But before we get to that, if you like what you see in the video, please consider subscribing. YouTube Analytics tells me that 70% of you watching this video are not subscribed to the channel, which is crazy. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button below in the notification bell if this channel helps you out in any way. It really does help me, and I greatly appreciate it. Also, if this is your first time here, Go to homerecordingmadeeasy.com, so I wanna give you a free $100 mixing course, absolutely free. It's my gift to you just for visiting Home Recording Made Easy. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna give you something else for free. So, let's jump over here in the Studio One. Let me show you what we got going on. So here's Easy Drummer 3, and again, this will work with any, you know, Easy Drummer 2, this will work with Superior Drummer, doesn't matter. Slate, uh, SSD5, whatever. But here's our drum kit. Okay, now if we go over to our grooves tab, let's say we pick a groove here that we like. Okay, pretty great. So now what we can do is we can do this, we could take this and bring this into Studio One. So if we just drag this over here. We could just left click and drag this MIDI part right into Studio One. Okay, we can do that. Now, before we move, move on, we wanna uh, multi-track this out. So the first thing we want to do after we've done that is go over to our mixer here in, in uh, Easy Drummer. And again, this will work for Superior Drummer as well, and any VST, as I said. They all work similarly in this fashion. So as you can see in our mixer, everything is going out one, two, channels one and two, okay? That's the standard default. So we want to multi-track this out. Now, if I open up my mixer here in Studio One, watch what happens when I start when I start on multi-tracking these out. So let's say we have our three kick drums, kick in, kick out, kick sub, all going to one, two. That's fine. Let's say our snare top and snare bottom, if we left click on this, we're gonna go out three, four, okay? Three, four. And then we have our hi-hats, we can go out five, six. We have our toms here, we can have those all go out separate if we want, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, Oh, I got a lot of toms here, 13, 14, 15, 16, or if you wanted all your toms on, let's say, just one stereo pair, you can put them all out the same. <clears throat> okay, and then let's say we have our overheads here. Our ride will go out uh, 17, 18, and let's put our, our overhead out 17, 18, just to keep this simple. The rest of these things, we're just gonna turn down and mute these mics, although again, you can do this however you want. You can split this out into many tracks as Easy Drummer will allow you to, which I believe is 32, right? So you have 16 stereo tracks, and people ask, how come it's always stereo? Can't you put out like the kick drum on track one, not track one, two? Easy Drummer's not like that. I know that's been a heavily requested feature to allow mono tracks, say 32 tracks, in a combination of mono and stereo, but right now they're all stereo. Maybe an Easy Drummer 4, that'll happen, who knows? But so now we have everything multi-tracked out, all our kicks, snares, all our different drums, up to our overheads, okay? So once we do that, we can, um, we can close this for the moment. Now, we wanna come down here in Studio One, and there's two things we wanna do here. In the last video, I showed you how in the console view, we can multi-track this out, so we have everything that we just routed in Easy Drummer across our console on different faders. Let me show you that again. So if we come over here to Instrument, right here, and you'll see as we open up that pane, here's Easy Drummer 3, we click the little triangle, we want to go to expand. Where is expand? That's where we want to go. Here it is, second choice down. And you'll see that right now we only have one, two checked. We want to make sure we check all of these boxes right out to 1718, because that's where we ended up. And as you can see in the console view, now we have all of our all of our tracks, right? But some people, and if I play back this loop here that we brought in Studio One, let me just loop it for you. Okay, if I play this back. OK, 
Okay, so we have all our multi-tracks down here on our console, but the question was to me in the comments, which is the main point of this video, well, that's great, Uncle Dave, but what if I want, I don't want this all on one MIDI track up here, I wanna break this out into multi-tracks as well. So it's all multi-track, so I can have the kick and the snare, so if I wanna go in and just edit the kick or just edit the snare, we can do that. How do you do that? Really simple. So I'm gonna close our mixer view here first for a moment. Oh, let me take all the solos and mutes off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we select this here, our MIDI region. We're gonna right click and we're gonna to go to instrument part. And I think it's instrument part, right? And where is the choice here? Am I in the right? Oh, musical functions, is it? I forget where it is. Hold on here, Uncle Dave should have done this off camera. Or is it events? We wanna to go to explode to pitches. That's what we're looking for. And I thought it was under instrument part here. Instrument, extract chord track, insert, it right here. <laughs> Uncle Dave, get it right. Instrument part, explode pitches to tracks. Watch what happens when we do that. Now you'll see, let me just make this bigger for us here. A little bit bigger than this. Now you'll see all of our mini notes have been broken out. So if I go and play this back, solo these up. So now we have them all on separate tracks. Now it doesn't name them. It names them C1, C2, D1, T2. You have to go in and listen and you can double click and you can rename the tracks. But now these are all on their own separate tracks, just like they down, are down here in the console. Pretty cool, right? Now, if you want to also, I believe, if we just double click on, let's say the, the first one here, we bring up our editor here. You can see oh, this is the kick drum. It's on C1, because C1 is typically the MIDI mapping for a kick. If we come over here, you'll see the piano roll. Yeah, C1 here. It doesn't rename it though, but I, can you rename it? I don't know if you can rename it here. It doesn't say drum, but what you can do is you can come up here and you can just double click and go kick. So now we know. Now with the editor open, we're just looking at the kick drum MIDI and you can edit the kick drum MIDI all on its own separate track. So that's, that's just another workflow. Some people like it all in one block of MIDI so you can edit everything together. Some and whoever asked these questions wanted to know how you can split it out. That's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful to you and answered the questions that some people wrote in. Let me know if there's any other questions about Easy Drummer 3 that you'd like to know about. And uh, make sure you check my archive because over the course of time, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos with the Tune Tracks products because I love their products. We're going to do some songwriting and we're going to take Easy Drummer, Easy Bass, Easy Keys. We're going to construct some songs together and then we could even use Easy Mix to mix those songs. So even if you're not a mixing engineer, you can get something that sounds really cool. So thank you so much for watching this entire video. Now, as I said at the beginning, Go to homerecordingmadeeasy.com because I want to give you that free $100 mixing course. Once you take that course, if you want to purchase one of my other courses, um, and I have plenty of courses, especially on Studio One, um, I want to give you a 25% discount coupon code. That coupon code is YouTube25. Just put that in at checkout. It will take 25% off any training course on my website. And until the next video, I've been Dave with homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.